Now, if you're an enterprise resident, you should soon see a smoother drive to work. In fact, today, Robert Smith Jr. talked to the city administrator to find out what the city of progress is about to do. The city of progress is looking to make progress on some of its roads that haven't seen improvements in decades. The mayor and enterprise city council have, have recently uh, done a few bond issuances uh, to address a lot of the road and infrastructure problems um, that we see throughout town um, over the last uh, number of years, call it decades. Uh, the over 200 miles of roads that are inside the city limits of Enterprise um, have deteriorated. City Administrator Jonathan Tullis says after a recent survey, over 50% of the roads were in poor condition. Roughly $20 million of the, that bond revenue will be utilized over the next four to five years to update those roads. And there's a lot that goes into that. The infrastructure like water and gas lines need to be relocated and, or replaced in some instances. A couple of roads that are on the list are Main Street and Plaza Drive. The Alabama Department of Transportation is getting in on the action as well to bring improvements to State Highway 27, which will feature a roundabout at the intersection. That intersection is dangerous, the line of sight, um, and, and a roundabout will help uh, not just keep traffic flowing, but it will make it safer. It's not to say it'll eliminate wrecks, but if you look at the statistics, it eliminates the fatalities and serious injuries that are affiliated with those kind of wrecks. Although there is no official date yet, the city is working diligently to satisfy Enterprise residents as soon as possible. Reporting in Enterprise, Robert Smith, WDHN News for the Wiregrass.